Hey YouTube, it's Kara. Sorry about the really weird lighting. It's sunset here, and my window doesn't have blinds on it right now, but there's still... It's like... Ah! But anyway, I'm going to finally do my book review over The Iron King by Julie Kagawa, or Kagawa. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce her name. I've heard it pronounced both ways, so... Yeah. This is the um, first book in the Iron Fae series. There are four. Iron, it goes Iron King, Iron Daughter, Iron Queen, Iron Knight, I believe is how it goes. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how it um, goes. Um, okay, so let's get into what this book is about. This book is about a girl named Megan Chase, and she kind of lives in a backwards hick kind of home, like in the middle of nowhere. Um, at the age of six, Megan's dad disappeared. And since then, she just hasn't felt, like, um, at home anywhere. And then all of a sudden, her best friend starts to act really weird and protective over her. And something is watching her. And she can kind of feel it. And she kind of feels a little creeped out. And then the story really takes off when she finds out that she is, in fact, the daughter of a mythical fairy king. And that she is um, a pawn in a fairy war. So... That is where the story takes off. There is romance, there is adventure, there is mystery. So my rating, well, I'll just, I'm going to save my rating until the very end, just so I can get through all my points that I have, because I have a lovely little list to show you. I lost my first list, so I had to make this one up again. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with negatives, because no one likes to hear negative things about books that they like. But I'm going to start off with the negatives. The first negative that I had of this book um, was that it kind of reminded me in the beginning of Alice in Wonderland. She is taken into a new world, just kind of like Alice is taken into a new world, and there is a cat in this book called Grimm that really resembles um, the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep looking at my face, and it's like, ah, okay. Um, it's not a bad thing at all, it's just kind of, when I was reading it, it kind of reminded me of Alice in Wonderland, and then there's a scene towards the end that kind of reminded me of um, the movie Labyrinth with David Bowie, so that was probably, it was just kind of annoying that I was reading it, and I was like, oh, that totally reminds me of a movie, because, you know, that's not supposed to happen, but and it wasn't a ripoff or anything, it just kind of reminded me of it. Um, the second negative I have is, <sighs> here, sorry, I feel like my face is, uh, there we go. Um, in the book, Megan Chase, the main character, there there's mysteries in the book, and she comes to fight. Like she'll, there'll there'll be a scene, and there will be a clue, and all of a sudden, she'll get an idea, and it it's kind of like the ideas, the the, the how fast she gets the ideas, and how accurate they are, kind of. It wouldn't usually be that way. Kind of, it's a little too fast how her revelation is just like, oh, I got it. And it's kind of unrealistic how fast she can get it. I don't know. I feel like some of the things that uh, were mysteries that became, you know, kind of popped out of nowhere that she finally just, like, understood what was going on. So that was probably a negative, but it wasn't, you know, detrimental to my reading or anything. Um, it was a little slow, not not towards the end. I that was one of my positives. Was the end was really good, but it was a little tiny bit slow during like the first the first half, like uh, like sixty percent through got a little slow. But and that's pretty much all I have to say negative about it, which isn't really that much. I mean, it was pretty good. The positives, Ash. That's pretty much. All I need to say, I mean, if you guys have read this book, yeah, wow, I mean, he's hot, so, I loved his character so much, I think he, oh, so awesome, he's so awesome, definitely read this book if you like, you know, really interesting main, main um, love interest guys. Um, oh yeah, so, and then another positive is that the ending is pretty good. You know, I was kind of a little ticked off with this book halfway through. I kind of wasn't, I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't, I wasn't understanding what the hype was about with this book because it's kind of hyped up. 
But towards the end, like the last 60 to 100 pages, I, I really liked it. I definitely think it picked up a lot at the end. And um, it's going to have, you know, there's also all the obviously going to be a sequel. And I definitely am going to get that sequel because the ending doesn't tie up a lot of mysteries that have been sprinkled into this book. So I definitely want to um, find out what the mysteries are and see more Bash, obviously. But, and also, I really liked the beginning part in the Wild One. So if you haven't read this, there's a beginning part, and I think it's really good. It's very interesting. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm giving The Iron King by Julie Kagawa, Kagawa, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, a B minus. But I'm extremely excited to get the um, next three in the series. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it on this book. Um, and as always, just really fast, I'm currently reading um, Leviathan by <coughs> excuse me by Scott Westerfeld, and I am on page 80. So I don't know if you can see how far I am. I'm not very far at all. I just started reading it two nights ago, and I've been really busy with projects and all that fun stuff. But so far, it's really good. It take um, it has two characters that you uh, switch back and forth. You know, you, one second you're in this character's world, the next second you're in that character's view uh, point of view. That's what I'm looking for. That word. But um, so far I'm really liking uh, Darren's point of view a lot better than Alex's point of view. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Sorry it took so long to upload this video. It just it gets dark at 5:30 and my my camera just hates me at nighttime, so I can never film it at night. Um, so yeah, awesome. Bye.